been questioned throughout this trial. Will Jamal Smith take the stand? Today, he did. Yeah, Smith is charged with murder in the Highway 169 shooting trial. Fox 9's Paul Bloom joins us live from the courthouse today. So, Paul, Smith gave the jury his side of the story today. He sure did, Amy. Randy, boy, was this a risky move by the defendant subjecting himself to a withering cross-examination from the state. It would have been fascinating to listen into the legal advice he got from counsel on this one. In the end, Smith put himself at the steering wheel, behind the wheel, inside the suspected suburban SUV at the time of the deadly shooting. But he appeared to admit that the shot was fired by someone else sitting in his back seat. It was a riveting 45 minutes with Jamal Smith on the witness stand testifying in his own defense. His attorney, Kellen Dotson, walking him through events of July 6, 2021. Yes, Smith admitted he was the driver of the suspected suburban SUV involved in the fatal encounter with youth baseball coach Jay Bouton. But no, he was not the one who pulled the trigger. Instead, pointing blame at backseat passenger Brandon Smothers, who is not charged in the case. Smith admitted he was speeding southbound on Highway 169 to get to his girlfriend's apartment. In fact, so fast, his GPS wasn't even keeping up, and he didn't recall the Bouton's pickup truck on the freeway. Smith told a jury of eight women and seven men. Smothers rolled down the back window, and then boom. I was shell-shocked. I didn't know what it was. A gunshot, thunder, it was loud. It could have been anything, Smith testified. With Bouton's family looking on from the gallery, Smith became upset and frustrated, wiping his eyes a couple times. Under a fierce cross-examination from prosecutor Dan Allard, focused on Smith's shifting story throughout the investigation, Smith insisted the three men in the SUV did not discuss what happened in the moment. Smith admitted he was not allowed to have the guns in the vehicle as a convicted felon. There were three at the time of the shooting, but Smith insisted they were brought on the road trip by the third buddy in the group, Antoine Smith. Neither Antoine Smith or Brandon Smothers testified at trial. Both sides rested their case Monday with Smith, the only witness called by the defense. Uh, we continue to trust the process uh, and trust that we get to the truth. And again, it's all about Jay, right? Um, sometimes he gets lost in all of this and the family definitely wants to keep his voice present. So up next on Tuesday, closing arguments and then final jury instructions. J Judge Nicole Angish is hoping the jury can begin its deliberations over the lunch hour tomorrow. And one more important note, this jury can still convict Jamal Smith, even if they believe he was telling the truth today and did not pull the trigger. That's because there is an aiding and abetting and conspiracy component to the murder charges on the table. So if they find he didn't pull the trigger, but help someone else, maybe by driving, hiding evidence, impacting witnesses, they can still convict. We're live at the courthouse. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul, thank you. Governor